Hey guys, Editor Josh here. Just want to drop in real quick before we started off. Let you know, in the recording of this video, we got quite a bit of electrical interference, it seems like, in the audio. So there is a bit of buzzing, there is quite a bit of pops. I did my best to try to figure out a way to clean it up, but unfortunately wasn't really able to do anything. So just some forewarning, the audio is a little funky at a couple parts. But uh, otherwise, I hope you enjoy it. So let's dive in. The birds are trying to nest above my car again. Hey! Hey, how guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today, we've got some good developments. So, we've been looking for a job. We've had a few interviews. Well, we've really only had one interview, but things aren't going super far. It's been a few weeks now. And I've really been kind of wanting to take this opportunity to go full time into YouTube but haven't quite felt like it's the right time as far as feasibility goes. But last night we had an opportunity presented where I can help with my dad's YouTube channel and maybe getting my sisters going, which is kind of something I've really been wanting to try to do is help people start channels. So that requires us to make a few changes and also kind of lets us focus on our channel full time too. So, it looks like we're starting to do YouTube full-time. Now, in order to make this work though, there's a few things that we have to do. I mean, we need to finish setting up our home network properly, and we're also going to have to work on uh, getting, our, um, getting our new server set up the rest of the way, because that's going to be kind of crucial, because we're moving a lot more data. So, we've got two stops we need to make, and the first is Best Buy. We need to, uh, we need to upgrade our network. And I think this is the one that we're going to go with. This supports Wi-Fi 6, we've got 2.5 gigabit in the back. This supports up to 10 gigabit internet, which, you know, doesn't even exist yet. So it might be like a little bit overkill, but it's also going to do what I think we need it to and want it to do. So. Ooh, and we are getting built-in VPN support. Perfect. All right, so that gets the first part of what we need to get done done. Um, that leaves, well, we probably need to up our internet a little bit because my roommate just got a new job that's mostly going to be working from home and we need more reliable upload speed, which means we have to visit the dreaded Xfinity store. And unfortunately, it looks like everyone and their brother is also here. Because of where I live, I can't look at my service upgrades online. I have to either call them, which who wants to call Xfinity? No one. Or I have to come into the store. And for me, I'd rather come into the store than call them. Although, looking at this... I, uh, I'm, I'm seriously starting to question that rationale. Yep. Wow, so we actually got in there, got out, and got everything taken care of in less than 15 minutes. Like, we seriously got in there, I mean, we got out, got in line, got in, got things taken care of, and out in less than 15 minutes. Wow, I've, that's the best service I've ever gotten here. Holy cow, maybe this isn't so bad. Um, anyhow, so we gotta run back home now. We've gotta set up the new hardware, get all of that running, make sure everyone's computers are gonna reconnect and start getting that taken care of and uh, start working on, you know, making sure that the server's gonna work. So let's get back. All right, so we've got our Comcast Xfinity modem, which we're probably just going to leave like that. We've got our new Netgear modem that should basically do diapers. Um, let's get this open and let's figure out how to get this thing set up.
All right, we've got our warranty and support, our quick start guide, foam, um, other need help stuff, and a modem. Wow. I mean, that thing kind of beastie. So let's go ahead and get this thing out of oh, its plastic wrap. As you see here, we've got this modem. It's got, on the back, we've got a 2.5 gigabit ethernet port. We've got four one gigabit ethernet ports. We've got our modem, our cable jack input. We, uh, we can aggregate, we can basically bond together two of the ports on the back here. So we can actually get two gigabit out of these by bonding them together. At least I'm pretty sure that's what we can do with that which is we might do that with our desktop. Once our new server supports it, we'll be using our 2.5 gigabit for the new server. We'll just use that one. And then we'll probably be aggregating to our desktop so that we can get about two gigabits there. And that should allow us for pretty quick transfers back and forth between our server and our desktop, which will be great. So we've also got an ethernet cable in the box. We've got our power supply, this all looks good. So let's start getting this hooked up. We're gonna go ahead and get started by disconnecting our old hardware. If we can figure out what cables go where, let's see here. All right, so we're plugged in. We need to get powered up. I guess it did want that done. So let's go ahead, plug that in. We're powering up. Once that boots up, we'll have it try again. I'm not sure how long this one takes to boot up though. The old modem takes an eternity to boot up, so we'll see just how long this one takes. Hopefully not too long. So it looks like our downlink did stuff, our uplink did stuff. Now our globe is flashing, so it needs to go solid white so it needs to stop flashing and then we should be ready to continue setting this thing up all right so as you can see now all of our blinking's done we are currently setting up our netgear account we will set up 2fa later all right we are installing a new product we have a cable modem router. Ooh, we can just... Does this really have something we can just scan? Um, ooh, it does. Ooh, look at that, okay. So we can turn on our camera and we can just scan this QR code that's on the side here. And that... Okay, so then it prompts us to plug in our cables. We've already done that, so it should just be jumping right to it then. So once this part gets done, and once we're able to log in, we should be able to log into the router, provide our account information for Xfinity, it should finish provisioning and we should be up and running just about that easy. So this is good. This so far is pretty painless, pretty straightforward. It uh, just helps if you look at the instructions first. <laughs> well, our easy setup seems to have hit a roadblock in that though the router is up and running and we are connected to its wireless access point, it's not recognizing that we're connected. So try as I might to get it to uh, recognize, it, it's saying that the cable modem is not found. So this is mildly problematic. Um, hmm. Hmm. You are currently not connected to any network, but I am. Hmm. Oh. We may have been getting slightly ahead of ourselves. So it looks like we should be able to do this through the app, but for some reason, it's uh, it's not loving us. Oh, it's trying to tell us to, no, no, 
Please let me, oh, just let me do it the old-fashioned way. Let me do it the old-fashioned way. Why do you hate me? Why? Why? All right, to the laptop. Now, the benefit in using the laptop is once we connect to the Wi-Fi, it can't try to connect somewhere else. So it's going to be stuck with trying to go through the router. So if we hit the IP for the router, it's going to be forced to accept that as, oh, being correct. And it shouldn't try to load something else. Whereas, you know, on the phone it goes, oh, there's no internet there. I'm going to route you through Google and give you some random mumbo jumbo instead. And it's like, no, that's not what I wanted. All right, that finally connected. So now if we open up Edge, that should take us to our router login. There we go. All right, there we go. We're in the modem. Wow, that took, that was slightly more difficult than it ought to have been. That should have been easier. That's fine. Um, it wasn't that bad. So now we want to go to, uh-oh, Xfinity ran into some trouble. All right, guys, that took a bit of effort, but I think I figured out what the problem was. So ultimately, I wound up disabling my VPN because my phone uses the Google VPN for because, you know, I'm on Google Fi. And so basically, if the VPN's up, it throws out of whack all of my connections, my IPs, all of that stuff. So I disabled that, disabled my mobile data. The Nighthawk app is now bringing right up my my box here so i am able to sign in it looks like Let's see what it does it did bring up the sign in so hopefully hopefully we're making some progress now again i should have thought about disabling the vpn though that was kind of like an obvious one of you know if i've got the vpn enabled then it's probably going to do weird stuff well, JK, that didn't seem to get me anywhere, as it says that the router has already been set up, so... But it's not coming up in my app. Alright, so first we're going to go back a step. We're going to connect the modem that they gave us, and we're going to try to get this thing set up and working properly. And then we're probably going to hard reset the Netgear one and try doing that one again. So we'll be back with results. All right, so it's taking a bit longer than anticipated. I guess maybe it just had to sit plugged in for a little bit. We've kind of gone back and forth trying to figure out why the heck it won't work, but it is now activating. We, uh, it's flashing, it's doing magical stuff. It, it's finally activating. I got to the point where I, you know, I capitulated and I was calling them to try to figure out why the heck it wouldn't work. And as I'm on the phone, all of a sudden, like, I'm like, you know what, let's just try doing it again. Let's see if we can, you know, get it to do something different. We went in, we started doing it, and all of a sudden it was like activating. I'm like, yes, finally. So. It does look like it's activating um, about the same as their hardware. It says it's going to take about 10 minutes. It didn't actually take theirs that long. I don't think it'll take this one that long, but we should be up and going in the next few minutes, which will be great. Oh my gosh. All right, so with all that set up, now what we're going to do is, there's actually a lot of work we were trying to do before with the server that we weren't able to complete because the old modem and router just did not have, I didn't have access to the settings that I needed in order to get everything set up the way I want and need it to so that really having my own server is effective. So we're going to get the rest of that stuff set up. There's several things we need to get set up in Unraid so that we can FTP, we can have a web server, I can access all my stuff offsite and we need to make sure that we can do it securely. So we're going to be going through that. Um, probably the next step is working on continuing to rebuild our server because that only has 109 gigabytes left of free space. And that is not going to be sufficient for our needs. It's going to fill up fast here. So we're going to have to work on that. But the new router is working great so far, our new modem. Um, it did take us a little bit to get it set up, to get it working with Xfinity, with Comcast. But it is working, we've got good speeds. Um, I can actually forward ports the way I want to now and I can redirect stuff like crazy, so that's good. But uh, yeah, 
I think that's all for now, guys. Thanks for coming by. I hope this was helpful. You know, if you're having some issues trying to set up your your if you're having issues trying to set up your modem. But I will see you guys next time, where hopefully we'll start having a little bit more hardware. We start putting in the server. I'll see you guys then. So long. <laughs>